Hi everyone and welcome to Sit In It For A Bit on a Sunday with your hosts Arnan Carlos and we are back with the second episode of our new podcast Sit In It For A Bit not necessarily a knitting po uh, podcast but usually a recap of everything that goes on in our lives and there is usually some knitting uh, at some point isn't there? It's strange if it's not. Yes. Yeah. So we have a little bit of everything. And as you may notice, uh, the backdrop today is a little bit different than what you usually see. You usually see a lot of color, a lot of things in our house. Um, but today we are actually recording from Japan. We are currently in uh, Tokyo and uh, having a great time, I have to say. Yeah, and this place is, is going to be our home for, the, for six days, six nights. Yeah. And... Well, we're not spend we're not spending much time in the room because no, we're, we're really always busy. on the on the run. We are doing workshops and we are walking around. Yeah, walking a lot. <laughs> a lot. <And> yeah. <laughs> so, but it's it's very nice. We haven't been in Japan for four, four years. Four years. Yeah. So it's nice to be back, and it seems like we have got a lot of new fans because of the pandemic. The pandemic, yeah. because people were watching us during the lockdown mm -hmm. yeah. and now they come to meet us so yep. it's it's really nice so it is yes we will be back again next year I oh think. absolutely <laughs> and we're staying in this beautiful hotel uh, in tokyo called the hotel niwa which is uh it's very modern but it's got that japanese aesthetic as you can see behind me the shoji screens are actually they're actually made of real paper yeah. okay, i probably hear that so yeah, it's uh, and there's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of wood here, <laughs> and these doors they they slide open to reveal a curtain, which then reveals another curtain, which then reveals the window. We've had to close all the curtains because the light was quite intense. Yeah. So yeah. So that's why it's a bit dark today, but I hope you can hear us. Yeah. So <laughs> if you don't see us so clear. Yeah, it is but, what it is. When we're out traveling, there's nothing much we can do about. Yeah, uh, no. We just have to play the cards we get. And we're traveling a lot, that's why it's sit and knit for a bit on a Sunday. Every other Sunday. Every other Sunday. So, so yeah, as Arne was saying, this is the, the first time we've been uh, in Japan since the pandemic. And the last time we were here was in 2019, so just before the pandemic. Mm. It's been four years. Yeah. And uh, we are indeed uh, very, very happy to return. There's something about Japan that we absolutely love. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a great country. It's one of our favorites, really. And it's so much fun to look at, like just walking around in the streets. There's so much nice things, yeah. like even the, even like the commercials for things and <laughs> posters. And it's, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's a cool country to travel yeah. in. The food's amazing. The people are so kind and gracious and just warm and lovely. And yeah, and then there's this um, aesthetic, the sense of aesthetic here in Japan is actually very similar, I would say, to the Scandinavian sense of aesthetic. Mm. So um, I do feel that we have a lot in common with, uh, with Japan. And there's a lot of Scandinavian thing. Like yesterday we were in this place in Shi Shibuya, Shibuya. Mm. and we were in this uh, place of the shopping center or the what do you call that? Not the shopping center. Is it like a department store? Department store, and everything was about Scandinavia. So there were yeah. like jigsaw puzzles from Oslo, Copenhagen, Stockholm. There were Swedish Christmas decorations, and a lot of our Hang on, stuff. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry. Just what? No, you've got a no. You've got a hair there. Hang on. <laughs> sorry. There you go. Sorry. Oh, I, I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just had a shower and, and yeah. you got one there uh, okay thank you thank you there we go now we're all no, groomed we're and ready yes. yeah no so yeah they have a they love their scandinavian design here in japan just as, as much as we love our japanese design in in scandinavia so um yeah it's uh it's a uh, a lovely mutual respect for yeah. uh for our cultures here in Japan, that's what we feel. And uh, yeah, we've been here since the 19th of November. Mm -hmm. um, that's when we landed in Japan and uh, we have mainly been doing um, appearances for our fans. We've been doing workshops, um, we've been doing book signings, um, and we've had meetings with um, Japanese, our Japanese partners as well. Um, mm -hmm 
for example, we designed, we've done some exclusive designs for DMC Japan. And so we, you know, it's all about coming here and, and keeping the relationship with them. Um, we worked with Keito Dama before, the knitting magazine that is published by Nihon Vogue. Yeah, which we actually have to get a copy of because yeah. two of the garments, the first collection we made for Rowan are printed in the magazine. Hmm. So that has to be in our archives. Yeah, and we've been um, meeting friends and members of our Japanese uh, fan club that we've been um, that we've known since the fan club was founded in 2012. I think yeah. it was founded so 11 years ago. Um, yeah, and, it, and it's been great. We started in Osaka. Um, actually, we flew to Tokyo, but we had to fly all the way to Osaka. That was the cheapest ticket for some reason. <laughs> so we had to change. Explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go figure. We wanted to go to Tokyo, uh -huh. but it was actually cheaper to land in Tokyo and then take a flight to Osaka. Yeah. So I know it's bad for the environment, but what do well, you do? Well, should we walk? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway, we, we started in uh, we started in Osaka, and uh, then we continued on to um, Hirakata, which is a town between Osaka and Kyoto. Oh, yeah, well, that was the most amazing bookstore, bookstore ever. Ever actually, yeah. book and well, yarn and crafts and. It was beautiful. Yeah, well, Dakanyama Tsutaya Tea Site here in Tokyo is pretty amazing too. That's even so, better. Yeah. But this one was also very good. Very good, yeah. Then we did some stuff in Kyoto. No, we did not do anything in Kyoto. We just took the Shinkansen from Kyoto. That's what we did. Yeah, from Hira... We went to from Hirakata, Kata so to Osaka Kyoto. to Hirakata, Hirakata to Kyoto. And then in Kyoto, we took the Shinkansen to Tokyo, yeah. where we have been since. Yeah. And uh, today we have an early morning off, which means we're doing this. And then in the afternoon, we are going to go around in Dakanyama. I think yeah. some of our fans are joining us for a yeah, walk. I think they are. And we're going to meet the designer, aren't we? Yeah, our friend Emmy. Emmy, who gave us our first Blight doll. Yep. And we're going to check out the Blight store. So we are prepared because we have some friends coming on the cruise, on the garden tour. And they're also into Blight dolls. Yeah. So... It's going to be. If you uh, see these girls, we will uh, check well, it out for you. By the time the girls have seen this, they will have been. Oh, they have been there. At the yeah. store. By, the, by the time you see this, you've already been there. Okay. Yep, because we are doing <laughs> uh, we are doing this a little bit pre-recorded. Yeah, because you have to download this. Yeah. Now today, actually. And we don't know how long it's going to take. So it's pre-recorded, and by the time you see this, uh, the second part of our trip will have taken place, yeah. which is a garden and craft tour that we're hosting here in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. We've got 26 people coming and we are going to be traveling around uh, to see the main sites here in Japan and all the beautiful gardens, yeah. the Japanese gardens. Um, and we are gonna do four workshops that we are looking very much forward to. We Where we all... actually, we learn something. Yeah, so it's not us do we teaching. No, we, we are, are gonna be participating in workshops together with our with our guests, uh, we've got one workshop where we will learn about uh, washi paper and how to make washi paper. Yeah. We've got a workshop uh, where we will learn about um, dyeing textiles in indigo in Tokushima. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a temaru ball uh, workshop. Um, and finally, an udon uh, noodle making workshop. So. Um, those 26 people are going to get a live <laughs> cooking with Arne and Carlos. I don't know how the noodle <laughs> workshop is going to go, but I know you're going to eat it all. I'm going to eat it, no matter, no matter how what. they look. Or <laughs> so. Because noodles, uh, no, it's not udon noodle making, it's soba noodles. Soba noodles. And well, soba, I can't see, I don't know the difference, well, I just eat them. Soba noodles are dark and thin, udon noodles are thick okay. and white. I like both. Yeah, but you know soba. Yeah, then I know. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we will be eating uh, soba noodles that we made ourselves. And of course, visiting um, some beautiful sites here in Tokyo, Kyoto. We're going to Osaka as well. We're going to Kanasawa. We're going to Hakone. Hakone is a really nice uh, resort town up uh, by Mount Fuji. It's not very far away from Tokyo. We uh, have we the hot springs. Yes, with that's hot springs. You, that's where you're going. That's where I'm going, yeah. <laughs> We're going to Kanatsawa, as I said. We're going to Tokushima, um, the Iya Valley. So, um, yeah, we are expecting uh, lovely weather, lovely fall weather. We are expecting foliage, yeah. beautiful colors um, on the leaves. And we love that Japan is so seasonal as well. The, mm. the fall is so distinct, as is spring. 
And uh, I am sure that when we go to Kyoto, we will see a lot of uh, ladies wearing their beautiful uh, kimonos mm. in fall colors, yeah. which is um, it was just lovely. L lots of things related to plum right now because plum is um, the seasonal fruit. Um, so I'm thinking the colors will be You could also hope for a little bit of snow. Orange. And, that yeah. would be cool. But I think it's, no been, snow, no, it's no, no. been very warm now. So it's unusual, they say. Yeah, it's unusually so. warm here in Japan. And I think it will continue to stay relatively warm. I mean, for, for us, it's going to be around 17 degrees Celsius, which I think is around 60 Fahrenheit, mm. which is a good summer in Norway. Um, and there's some humidity in the air. Yeah. Well, you can see that. In Arna's hair. Well, not right now. Well, not right now. But, it's coming. <laughs> but when we go out, it, cur it tends it curls to... curls a little bit more. It tends to curl up a little bit. So, yeah, it's uh, all in all a great trip. And we will be back home on November 10th. So, yes. by the time you see this, we're still going to be in Japan mm. and arriving uh, on the 10th. Um, and then we've got a lot of stuff to do at home, yeah, I guess. There's always something. And being in Japan, and we had the meetings with our, the people that we work with, we have got some new stuff to bring home. So mm. we have, we have uh, had the meeting with DMC, and yeah. they gave us this... Uh, really nice um, things. What's that called in English? The, no, in English it's the punch needle. Yep. So we're going to... We have a new hobby now. We're going to try this. Mm. So we, we got um, the needle. Yeah. A very nice needle for thick yarn. Oh, wow, cool. And Yoko from DMC may, showed me very quick how to do it because we have never done it. And we got a lot of fabric. I think we should buy more fabric mm. so we have enough because we already had some plans for this punch needle technique. And that is really cool. We also got another one, which is very special for Japan. Yeah. I can take this punch needle is for um, embroidery yarn. Now this is the needle for the big one, but this this looks like uh, <laughs> looks <laughs> like it's for a doctor or something. Yeah. But this is actually punch needles for embroidery yarn, and you can actually decide the height of the loops by moving this one up and down mm -hmm. and there's um, two extra needles in the set so but we have never done this i tried this yesterday in the workshop for the first time for yeah. the first time so i just have to look a little bit into it but we already have made some drawings of things that we can punch mm. so this will be fun yeah and then they gave us these really beautiful uh, these are actually only available in japan these are um exclusive for the japanese market these dmc collaboration with sabai i think it's called yeah and they are actually doing what you call this the frames for your glasses yeah that's what they do yep. but they've done these these glass things for the for these hoops for um embroidery which are quite beautiful Look at this one here. That's, yeah, and we got one each. Yeah. This one is a little bit different, but they are so beautiful. Yeah, they're lovely. I think I'm going to give all the other we have to a thrift shop and just yeah, and use these. this one. Yeah, they're absolutely this gorgeous. This one is like very nice. So I think these, this is part of their premium collection. Yeah. It looks very solid. It does, yeah. So beautiful. Cool. Very nice. So we and get stuff. And as always in Japan, in Japan they have um, a gift culture, so um, gift giving is very important uh, here in Japan. I think it has to do with uh, maintaining uh, good relationships with people. So um, we bring gifts as well. Um, every time we come to Japan, we spend, we actually spent quite a long time uh, huh. gift wrapping. <laughs> that was the last thing we did before we Yeah, left and, and, and we wanted to always to be the last thing we do because we want to pack all our, our luggage first and then find a good place where to put our, our gifts that are wrapped. But we can uh, never match all the gifts we get because you never know how many g gifts you will have. Yeah, but, but we, we would... have gifts for the people we work with and people we have met yeah. many times. And we always bring, uh, make sure to bring something Norwegian. Um, and the Japanese, they love uh, Norwegian sweets. So we tend to bring uh, these beautiful um, chocolates from Norway called, uh, the brand is Freya, like our dog. Yeah. And, um, and then we spent 
quite some time um, and put a big effort in gift wrapping because in Japan presentation is everything. So we want to make sure that our that our gifts are as beautifully wrapped as they are. Although we try to match, we, it, we you can know, never, you can never, you we can, can never, never match, match that their uh, <laughs> their wrapping skills are far superior than ours. Yeah. But we try, we give it a try, and we make sure that we always bring um, something. And then we get a lot of gifts. Um, and already now, um, I am a little bit concerned about uh, <laughs> what we're going to do, how we're going to bring know. everything home. But I have come up with this idea. I think that the the best way to do it is to remove all the packaging yeah, and make keep, it to make it as small as possible and that way we are able to bring as much as possible although we do get a lot of edibles um, yeah, have, thank god and the packaging is so nice you can't throw it away look yeah. at this one with those beautiful cats this yeah. is chocolate but we have we have so yeah but we can much. eat that before we leave so that's fine and this, no this is tea bags we just got these hojicha tea bags from um, upodo uh, Ipodo, which is a very uh, renowned mm. Japanese tea company. So uh, these are lovely. This is a beautiful box too. You can't throw this box away. But we have eaten all the, the sweets. Yeah. So we have Lurdog's got the tea for forever. Yeah. There's is that the word of the day? Or? That could be the word for the day. You know Lurdog's got the tea? Lurdog's got the tea, yeah. Or Lurdog's got. Yeah. That's uh, on Saturdays, the kids got sweets so they can eat when, when they watch TV on Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah. I think that was, a, maybe it's not a thing anymore, I don't know. Well, it People used to get, be when uh, we were small. When we when were, were small. young, yeah, the Lurdog's got. Yeah, you didn't get sugar and chocolate and sweets the whole On the week. weekdays, never. You no, got no, it no. on Saturday. So, so it's Saturday. And it's a co it's, it, the word is composed of two words. So Lurdog means Saturday in Norwegian and actually in Swedish too. Mm. So Lördags. And then you add words. Lördags got is two Lör words. and dog. Oh. That's also two words. Yeah, but not really. No. Because okay. nowadays you don't use... <laughs> no, people don't understand no. what it means. So Lördag means Saturday. And then when you add the S, it's like Lördags. Yeah, it belongs to It the belongs Saturday. to Saturday. It's just like in English. Yeah. And then got uh, means delicious. So, um, or good. Like sweet. So tasty. Yeah. So uh, Lerdog's got Saturday tasty or Saturday delicious. And those two words combined means uh, treats for Saturday or the Saturday candy. So we have Saturday candy forever. Yeah. There's more Saturday candy, Lerdog's yeah. got. But these are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean everything, everything. It's a pity you can't put them in, your, in the scrapbook. Because, mm. But this we can eat. Easily. So, for example, uh, this is a gift that we received that we thought we'd open here to show you guys. Um, and it's lovely. I mean, it's packed uh, lovely. And uh, it may actually hint at what is inside <laughs> in it. I think this gives it away a little bit. You got one each. Uh, and um, I happen to know um, a little bit about this gift. But this... Uh... Socks are very nice. You have yeah. to keep this also for the So scrap. we got socks and they have the the deer from Nara in Japan. So because here, we went to Nara. Here also. are the deer and uh, we got uh, up and close with these deer in Nara as so. one of them decided to take a little bite out of my behind. So I got <laughs> bitten. So <laughs> I got not bitten but I got nipped in the behind by a, a Nara deer. So this is the yeah. Nara socks in organic cotton. A lot yeah. of descriptions here. And if you and if you're wondering how could I possibly have been nipped at the butt by a deer, uh, Nara in Japan is a very special place. It's a very an ancient place in Japan, um, where uh, there was a very important culture um, a thousand years ago. And um, it's kind of like a holy place. Uh, I think it is, yeah. There's a lot of temples. There's a lot of temples there. And uh, there's hundreds of deer that live in the <coughs> city. It's probably the only place in the world where, where the deer live such close proximity to people. And uh, they're tame. I mean, yeah. they're wild animals, but they're quite tame. And um, they get fed. You, can, you buy these, um, these cookies. Uh, that are made, it's like dog kibble, but for deer. It's got all the nutrients that the deer need um, and, and what they actually eat. Yeah, and so you buy these cookies 
and you feed them and everybody does that so the deer don't want to leave because no, they're very used to it but they don't come they're not so aggressive if they don't see the food yeah they need to see the food but if they see you got it then they, they come so so our japanese host <laughs> bought some of those uh, cookies um, and they consist of things that the deer eat, but all dried and, and compact. You're not allowed to feed the deer human food, that's forbidden, but you can feed them this. Um, and so you, I, I was feeding, I had like four or five in front of me, and I was feeding them. And then one of them, uh, there was one coming from the back that I didn't see. And suddenly I got <laughs> myself a little surprise. I have a close-up with you. Yeah, <laughs> which you may have seen as we are considering posting that on um, on a YouTube short. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I got bit by or nipped on the bum by a deer. So I got very up close and personal with one of them. Really? Um, yeah, and uh, it's quite quite incredible to see all these deers. They walk in the streets and they're in the park. Um, and yeah, people cuddle them. It's and, very um, nice, actually. It's a bit strange, but it's, it's also very nice in a way. Mm. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, the, the socks from Nara, um, I think that we're just going to wear these while we're here. Um, yeah. Because nice, uh, nice and clean socks is very important. But isn't this also socks? Yeah. This is also socks. Of course. This is from Miho. This is from Miho, yeah. we got more socks. Yeah. This is also from Nara. Yep. Take that. Isn't is it the same sock? Okay. No, it's uh, and I and she she told me the red are for you. Okay. So these are uh, gifts oh, these from are Nara. Different. Yeah, the, she said the blue are for me and the red are for you. Do we so. have enough socks? <laughs> well, in you Japan, can never have in enough Japan, socks. in Japan, uh, nice clean socks with no holes is very important. Yeah. Because we do take our shoes a lot off a lot here, so these will definitely come in handy. Um, Every morning when we when we get dressed, we look closely at our socks and make sure that they are no uh, yeah make sure that they are clean and we make sure that they are uh, proper and that there are no holes or anything because that would be a big very disrespectful thing yeah. to have actually in Japan. So uh, so yeah, good good new socks will always be a good thing to have. So I think that these we're gonna just remove the um, all the labels and things yeah, and them. start using them. They're really I nice. Think. But what is this made? For? This Carlos. Yeah. We got this fabric. So it's called ten tenugui. Tenugui. Yep. These are. Um, <coughs> Sorry. Oh. <coughs> Not COVID, I hope. No, no, no. no. <laughs> These are Japanese hand-dyed cloths um, that I believe they use uh, in kitchens. Oh yeah, little, yeah. You can. And and you can make uh, you can wrap uh, your bento. You box can use them, them if you want to be a ninja. It says. Oh look, this is. Ninja, oh, cool. Ninja style. Let's see. <laughs> so, I have to put this also in the scrap. So, for wiping your hands, for covering items, for sending presents, for wearing when cleaning or cooking, uh, <laughs> wrapping a bottle, um, wrapping fruit, and ninja. <laughs> I love, I, lo I so love cool. it. That's I love funny. it that I love it that it's all these kind of labor <laughs> labor things, and then ninja. Why not? Well, there's a lot of sweets yeah. in there. Uh, and and you're supposed to hand wash them. So um, yeah, and That's they're so beautiful cool. hand dyed fabrics, of course, um, and beautiful Japanese uh, patterns. I also uh, got I got some fabrics. Where are the fabrics? I very got. nice. I love I love this one, Arna. I love love. love it's love. beautiful. With this one, we bought in in uh, Nara. Oh, so that's not a gift, no. No, I bought it. Yeah. And I, I bought two of these because I'm going to make uh, doll dresses of them. Yeah. The plan is to make more doll dresses. It yeah. could be Blight or the Italian doll. Mm -hmm. But where I had two of these fabrics. Yeah. But it's so So much. you see, as soon as we start taking off all the packaging, things start getting more compact. Yeah. And this was, uh, this is a kimono fabric, I think. This That's was a fragment of a kimono fabric that our friend Chie gave us. Uh, she is uh, from uh, somewhere around Osaka. It's very uh, nice. Not really Osaka, but she's from not far away from there. Yeah. And, and and she has a lot of uh, kimono fabric that she has been gifting us yeah. throughout the years. Yeah, and this was... Uh, and she uses them to gift wrap. To wrap things. And then we get to keep the fabric. And she said we can make something of it. And we will. We will, yeah. We will. But I found this... What, this, this is also... 
something. You haven't. Mm. Can you open this yes, and see what it is? I don't know what. Again, a beautifully gift uh, wrapped thing. I love the way it's been uh, gift wrapped. And it's wow. almost. It's almost like you don't want to remove the wrapping. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's easy. While you open this, I can show the two beautiful Japanese birds we got. A very nice lady gave us these two birds mm. in the workshop. So this will be on the Christmas tree mm. this year. They are cute. Some lovely candy, Japanese candy of some sort. So very nice. Uh, yeah. Well, and that looks like meringue, what you call that? Yeah. Well, we'll see, meringue. Meringue. we'll see later. We'll see later. Not now. <laughs> mm. And then I got something that I really got very excited about. Uh, I have to say, this is a typical Virgo thing that I'm sure you're not as excited about as I am. No, but it's, it's so, okay. <laughs> They're nice. I really love these. <laughs> these, are spun <laughs> these are cleaning things. Uh, and they're made out of this Japanese palm. They're called Tawashi, and uh, I love them. I mean, but you know, it's not plastic. You can get this from a store internet shop in England, and they cost, how much was it? 12 pounds. 12 pounds, and you can get them in Japan for... Nothing. Nothing. One but pound. anyway, I was gifted <laughs> a few of these by somebody who knows me well here in Japan, and uh, I just love them. They are, um, they're, they're not synthetic, they're a natural material. They're made from this uh, Japanese palm. Um, they're handmade yeah. um, and aesthetically they're very pleasing as well. So I love these in the kitchen um, and they fill a very important function. You can clean things with them. And you're going to so, get more. You're going to get more yeah, of these. Yeah, I'm going to buy more of these yeah. because I love them. I love all these things made of mm. natural things and I don't know. It's just, this is a very me gift um, that our friend Chia who gave yeah. us the kimono fabric knows. Mm -hmm very well so I'm, I'm now i'm going to show what i'm working on I've so is that all all the gifts we're going to be showing today Do you want to show more yeah i'd love to show this yeah, this, yeah we have so many gifts so this is a very nice book it's an old arts and crafts book from uh, japan i don't remember the, the year but it's from the 50s from, 50 yeah, it said in the card it's from the 50s but 53 or something like that but look at the drawings I think this is a very nice gift hmm. and there, there's a lot of um, patterns for applique I think it is and very nice but just looking at the at the pictures are so fun yeah a lot of inspiration in this one and actually there's a very nice I've seen two or three bookshops not far from this hotel who have um, old paper magazines and old hmm. books because we are actually in the book city, this part of Tokyo yeah, Nimbo, is, Nimbo Cho. is called the book city. Yes. So there's some quilt or patchwork pillows and stuff. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. And we also got another, we got a book. Let me see. We got a book from a, a girl who makes these things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Look insane. At, this is crazy. This is crochet. With sewing flowers. needles. Sewing thread. Amazing. And I mean, it's look at how small, look at so, how small they are. It's so tiny. And she gave us her book with, um, with the, the techniques. Yeah. But look, just, but only by looking at the pictures. I don't know if <coughs> we can make this one. This yeah, you need a so, microscope to. Uh, it's so tiny. <laughs> you need a microscope to uh, crochet yeah. with but that. But it is so beautiful. All these tiny crochet flowers. Yeah. So this is something we will appreciate. Mm. But I'm not sure if we will make. No, I don't think we will. We can't well, see. we could always try, but. Then, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, in the in the dead lady's uh, sewing table. Yeah. We bought with all the unfinished objects. Mm -hmm. There was this big. Uh, what you call this? Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass that was you could hang around your neck mm. when you do crocheting or embroidery. Okay. We can use that one. We could. See if it helps. Yeah. And then we have to show you one more thing that we got before we go over to uh, the things we bought. Uh, 
I think we should save some of this gift for the next sit and it because... Yeah, but we're going to show a few things we bought. But before that, we do need to show one final gift. But I need to, I need you to get the phone, your phone over there, so that we can uh, tell everybody the name of the artist. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's not possible. I can't remember it right now. It's uh, <laughs> so many impressions, so many things. Um, we need your face. Yeah. Your gorgeous My face. My gorgeous face. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. We're going to go to Instagram and we are going to see uh, the name of this artist who is a husband of a friend of ours, um, but we've never met him. Are we going to meet him? As you start showing everybody, I'm going to look for him. So it came in this beautiful box. Even this one, you can, you could frame it. It's very nice. And then... He has made a picture of us. Let's see if I can find him. It's and quite incredible. This is actually quite amazing. Wait. Some plastic on top. So if you look at this this picture, there is this is so cool. And guess what is made of? Yeah, you would never guess. It's washi tape. <laughs> paper tape so all these small flowers and the patterns on the socks are cut out of this kind of this small paper type tape yeah so it is actually amazing yeah, and he, then it came with the magnifying glass. you have to see it through a magnifying so can, glass so we can study it by but you can't using. do it there you can't nobody see will see anything it there. but it's you very see, it's, you can actually study everything. It's very them. incredible when you look at uh, how he's made everything with, with microscopic pieces of washi tape, yeah. um, putting them together, probably using a tweezer or something. Uh, and uh, they even gave us the magnifying glass so we could see all the details. But when you study the socks on this pic picture, it is like tiny pieces of tape. Yeah. And the name, of the, art the, name of the artist is Naotaka Yamamoto. And uh, here is his Instagram. So go and check this Instagram account. So it's uh, Tanoshiki Tokoroe is his Instagram. There you go. Uh, go check him out. He's quite amazing. And uh, it was quite fantastic to get this gift. Yeah. He's a very cool guy, I have to say. And on his, uh, his wife's Instagram account, there's a video where she has filmed or he has filmed when he did this. So you can see... Yeah. How it was her made. name is her Instagram is Butterfly Rocket. Butterfly you, yeah. Rocket. So look for her. If it's open, I'm not sure if she, if her Instagram um, uh, profile is open. Oh yeah, that's that's. Something. I don't know. Yeah. But his his is open. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have to find a, a wall for this, a wall space. I think we have one space where we might hang it. It's amazing how much space you find. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. Anyway, we love it so much. And we, we decided that we're going to hang it with the magnifying yeah, this glass must so that people them. can, yeah. when people come to us, they can... Uh, they can check out. Yeah. That, that's very cool. Yeah. I spent one. such a long time looking All through the one. magnifying glass yesterday. My eyes started to hurt. Oh, yeah. But it's so much detail. The, yeah, yeah. It's so incredible. Fun. So this is a very great gift. Yeah. So you have to pack it nicely and put it in a suitcase. It's incredibly in sweet what people um, do for us. I have yeah. to say, we're very moved and touched and uh, extremely appreciative of everything. You feel really welcome like yes. when people come with things like this, you which do, is yeah. amazing. Yeah. So. And other than that, uh, it's all a feast here when it comes to food. Um, I haven't had any bad food in Japan ever. No, you, I don't think you can have No, it you can't. No. So, um, yeah. So this is very cool. And I love the lid as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can frame that one too. Yeah, you can. Oh, sorry. You can turn it upside down and it's kind of, yeah. yeah. And then we went shopping because we, we brought two Blight dolls because I brought the one I got from Japan a few years ago and Carlos bought his Blight doll, which is a new a gift. Mm -hmm. So I brought this one. And she, I haven't finished the dress yet. I'm going to weave in the ends. And then you brought yours. She had long hair, but Carlos was so jet lagged. So he, he spent 
one evening cutting her hair. I did. And yeah. I think she came out really nice. And you even used that uh, plastic thing from the shower yeah. to, to cover up her hair. <laughs> She's going in the dollhouse. <laughs> yeah, she would be in the dollhouse. So I, I, have <coughs> to, I have to weave in ends on this one. Yeah. And then we went shopping and look what this girl got. New shoes. These are the most beautiful ball shoes. Yeah, winter shoes, very winter detailed. Shoes. Very nice. We're not going to talk about the price, though, because that was a little bit no, of a No, because shock. we didn't think about it until we came back home. And whoa, we whoa, whoa, you got a shh. Well, yeah, and they, she got glasses. You want to try them on yours? No, no, no I put no. mine away. So she had, now she had red glasses. And we're going to look for wigs, but we have to wait until a bit later. <laughs> now she can see you better. Yep. <laughs> And we also had some sunglasses. They are, they are in the this box because this we ate all the sweets. But oh, now yeah, there are. Surprise. Um, you can take out the, the sunglasses and then I can show the shoes, which are a bit crazy. Yeah, the price as well. Oh, we, we, got we got a shock. I mean, it was the first day we had just arrived. We were jet lagged. And <laughs> they come in with like hairy bags. <laughs> like fluffy bags so we bought the two pair they are a bit wank wanky on on the girl but i think this can also be good on the barbie she's got sunglasses now those are cool how yep. cool is that very cool so i don't know what we were thinking when we got this this pair this pair we shoes. weren't we you were know we were thinking. jet lagged so we weren't thinking at all but <laughs> look at this one this is, we had one blue pair and one pink. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I know. But, but why not? Why not? You only live once. You only live once and you're not taking it with you to the grave, so. So this is, uh, this. we will have a lot of fun with this one. Mm. And then, you know, in Norway, it's really hard to find like uh, these fancy yarns because everything is wool and very practical. So we found some nice yarns because we're going to make more clothes for her and we're going to have a meeting one of these days and see what happens. Maybe we can do something here with her and we got some funny yarn like yeah. this is uh, some hairy yarn. It's called Atelier Kesk. Kesk. Atelier this will be good for doll clothes. And sakururu, sakururu yarn. And lots of fun yarns here. This one I don't remember. It's like it comes out like uh, fur when you knit it. And that is sakururu, sakururu yarn. I don't know what the, I don't know where it comes from, but it sounds very, very Japanese. I think it's a Japanese brand. Yeah. So yeah, lots of these synthetic uh, fantasy yarns. And this one, I, I, I saved the labels in my scrapbook so I can know what it is. And what are these? That is for the, the mending of jeans. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This because is I for... use embroidery yarn, but this yarn is for... Uh, this is made for darning. For darning, sashiko. Sachiko embroidery, sachiko yeah. Sachiko yarn, or oh, thread. Cool. So I think it's, it's probably stronger than the, there you go. the other yarn. So we have to, and of course, we brought this one with us. It's a Blight magazine from the Blight store with patterns. There it is. So this has really nice picture, pictures and nice patterns. So we're gonna, I guess we're gonna try to make some of these. They're very nice. Is it, good inspiration and just to see how they think when they do these patterns yep so we have a lot of fun doing this and on the trip this time i brought the dress that i've been working on for the italian doll she is not with us on this trip no but her dress is but the dress is and i i'm almost finished now i'm going to use all the um, beads I have in this style that I use on this one, and then there's some pearls on top. So you see, it's um, 
beads. Beads. Beads and and sequence. Yeah, sequence and beads. Yeah. The sequence is like a cup, and then I put a little bead under on top. On top. Oh. In the cup. Oh, okay. So I just have to finish around here, and then I have to do some steaming to make it a little bit nicer on top, and then I have to sew the lining in the back. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to turn it inside out and I'm going to sew the lining to the dress. As you would. Like this. Usually, yeah. So it's not open, so you can't see all the threads from the beadings. Mm -hmm. And then I think also I will add a little decoration ribbon on this one. So then yeah. this is finished. So this is the Japan project that Arne yeah. is working on. And I also brought the scarf, but I, that's in my, still in my bag. I have been doing so much on this yeah. one. And otherwise, we're doing Christmas balls and uh, and, and those kinds of things during and, our workshops yeah. around here. And, and also cowls. started. I'm trying the yarn. I have only used the Norwegian wool for the rib, but I should have a cotton in the matching color, and then this furry yarn. What's so that going to be? This will be sweater? a dress or a, dress. a skirt for the Blythdal, a winter oh. skirt. Is that her waist? That's her waist. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think she's I got hope. a big head. I hope, I hope I can get it over. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I think I, I think I can. It's elastic. Yeah. So it will be cool. She'll be very cool. When she she's... will be so cool. Yeah. Yes, I love the I shoes. Love. love the shoes. The shoes are amazing. Yeah. These are really cool. So I don't know, Carlos. I think maybe we should stop. Yeah, I think that because of the fact that we're traveling in Japan and we have to upload this podcast and it's a little bit of a problem when we're ab abroad, uh, we need to shorten it a little bit uh, today. But anyway, you've got a little bit of a, some news from us. Um, lots of people are also wondering how my mom's doing. Um, if you don't know, my mom has Alzheimer's and uh, she's not doing very well um, all in all because she has Alzheimer's, um, but at the moment she is not too bad. No, it, it was <coughs> nice. Was it yesterday you got a picture? Yeah, yeah. my dad sends me place. pictures of her and... Uh, and she was playing with the... Uh, balloons. balloons. <laughs> they had this b balloon <laughs> game, I guess. Isn't that that is That's so very nice. sweet. That's so um, she's okay for now, although she's not okay, obviously. Um, I worry about her a lot while we are here in Japan. I wish I, I um, could be close near to her. But at the same time, life goes on and I have to do what I have to do. So yeah. it's not always that you do what you want because it's called life. Exactly. And in life, you usually you don't necessarily always get your way or you don't necessarily always get what you want. So it is what it is. We, we try, we try as hard as we can. And because we have a lot of people coming. So, yeah. so we have to be here. I'm just trying on this one and it worked. Yeah, very nice. This will be fancy. Hmm. It'll be great. <laughs> and now we're going to go and have a meeting with Nihon Vogue uh, and, and Keito Dama and all the magazines. And they're the ones that published the Blythe book. Yeah. So we were going to talk to them about maybe doing a Blythe book in Japan. So that'll be fun. That will be fun. So, I don't know, Carl, yeah. should you do the formalities? formalities? Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, podcast. If you did, if you did please thumbs give it a big up. thumbs up. Uh, and uh, like and subscribe and uh, get on the mailing list and if you want more content uh, we have our members channel and all you need to do is go to the Arne and Carlos YouTube channel and next to the subscribe button there's a join button we've got different tiers and there's lots of content there's monthly shenanigans there's cooking episodes and there's a whole bunch of other things there for you to enjoy in addition to the content that we post here on our regular channel, which is every Sunday at 6 p.m. Central European time. Yeah. Uh, we are now in winter time, so it's Central European time, yes. which is uh, noon um, Eastern time and 9 a.m. Pacific. Although right now I think you guys are not in tune with us. Maybe not, I don't know. Because of the, you know, we changed the times in different, at different times. So yeah. I think we go to, winter time earlier than than people in North America do but anyway Europe, if you are in Asia if you are in Japan it's the same and if you're in Australia it's different and Europe so. is the same that's not 
all over Europe. Central so, Europe, yeah, anyway. Okay. Anyway, so thank sure. you so much for watching, and we will be back with a new episode of Sit In It For A Bit, recorded in Norway uh, on November 19th. And uh, next week, we've got a free uh, pattern for a double-knitted uh, pot holder coming up on our YouTube channel with a tutorial. So stay tuned for that. So yep. see you next week. Bye. Bye. See you. Say it in Japanese again. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Um, I say yoroshiku onegaishimasu, um, which means uh, thank you. Sumasen. Or something like that. Bye. Bye. See you.